Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under JavaScript for beginners especially the jQuery UI part so this is sort of like the 54th video i suppose in this entire playlist wherein we started off with plain javascript vanilla javascript then we moved on to little bit of jquery and now we are on jquery ui which is another library built on top of jquery library which adds a lot of user interface functionality so in the previous couple of videos if you've been following this entire playlist we've been going through a lot of jquery ui widgets which are basically adding user interface functionality features just by literally adding one single line of code that is calling the inbuilt methods we are creating different widgets like accordion we've created message box we've seen tool tips we've seen date time picker and what not you know so this is one of my favorite widget in jquery ui that is the auto complete feature which is basically added on top of a text box or anywhere where you input a value so the reason why it is my favorite is because it's not really enhancing the user interface in terms of looks but it is adding a little bit of feature of searchability so just to give you an example of what exactly this auto complete means in our current context auto complete means when you type in something in the message box let's say i am searching for a city you know so if i say m so once i say m i should be getting some suggestions based on cities which are starting from m right so you've seen this feature pretty much everywhere wherever there is search features you know so the very basic example can be google search right so if i just go on google if i just type in hello you can see i'm already getting a lot of suggestions hello google hello brother or whatever the recent type of search is i'm already getting all these suggestions So this is basically called as auto complete feature. Now this is one of the very important features whenever we talk about real world applications. If you are building a website, if you are building some web application where there is a lot of search happening, you definitely are going to be needing this auto complete feature because it will obviously add a lot of enhancement for the user because he doesn't then actually have to search a lot of things, right? If he can see it in the auto complete, he knows that that thing that he is searching for is already there. So coming to our web page, what I have already done is I have added. A h3 tag which says auto complete widget UI, and then inside a division which has the ID of my divs. So I have given it a styling of two pixel border. So that's this purple border and a padding of five pixel. Let me add a little bit more. I'll say fifteen. And then I have a label and then I have an input tag with the ID of city text box. Okay. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in some city name and then automatically the suggestions should pop up and that feature can be added in jQuery UI. So a quick recap if you have missed any of the previous video tutorials or if you don't know jQuery UI basically jQuery UI is a library which is a javascript library based on jQuery core library so that's why we have these many links to the css which corresponds to jQuery UI and then we have two script tags first one is the jQuery core library and the second one is the jQuery UI library and it has to be in this order only that is the jQuery UI library should always be below the core jQuery library okay Now we have opened up a, another script tag over here inside which we are going to type in all the code for jQuery UI. So what we'll do is we'll quickly select this text box by using the ID. So the ID of this text box is you can see city text box. So we've already seen what are selectors in jQuery. So I'm going to use the ID selector by using the hash. I'm going to say dot and the inbuilt method name to add this auto complete feature is called as auto complete itself. So the name itself makes it evident. So this is a method in jQuery UI. so it is a inbuilt method which adds this auto complete functionality now obviously you need to pass a data set through which the auto complete should work right so let's say you are searching for cities in this case so we need a list of cities already right which we have to search through only then the auto complete will work so in this method we have to pass a array of all the items that we want to search so what i'll do is i'll quickly create a array over here i'm going to say where my cities equal to I hope you know how to create an array. We've already seen this. So there you go. You can see I've already I've already created an array and I've passed all the city names whichever I could think of instantly. So you can pause the video and you can add your own city names inside this array. So what we have to do is we have to pass in these arrays inside this method as parameters. So this auto complete method takes in two parameters and when we pass parameters in this method, we pass it as options. Those are called options basically. and they have to be in curly braces so if you've seen any of the widget videos previously we pass everything in curly braces right in this case there are two curly braces because there are two parameters that we are going to be passing the first one again this is an object inside this we will pass the source okay now the source over here is this array so i have to say source and then i have to pass the array name okay so once i do this i have basically actually covered the auto complete feature so what are these two curly braces for So this is for some extra options which we will see in a minute. Right now, let's see if our auto complete works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to type in new new 
and you can see there are three different cities new delhi new york and new jersey so let's see if the auto complete works so in the text box when i type in n you can see i'm getting all the suggestions which are having the keyword of n and it's not just the cities which are starting with the letter n any city which has the letter n is shown up over here and it even works for small caps and all caps you know so it is even if it is in lower case or upper case it doesn't matter you can see punjim is a city which has n in it and it is in lower case pune is a city it is having n in lower case so now let's type in another word i'm going to say n e and now you can see the search has more refined because it is searching for a pattern of n e inside the entire text you can see pune has p u n e so n e is over here also and then all the three results are new 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 which means we are refining the search so when i type in w the suggestion box should not have pune in it so i'm going to click w and there you go now we have all the three cities which are having this keyword of n e w so even if it was in small caps n e w you can see we are getting the three suggestions only now you can select any one of this so this is our very basic auto complete feature and you can have a little bit more customization in terms of options and those things we have to pass in in this second curly braces pair so i'm going to hit enter over here now few options i'm going to show because there are not a lot of options over here that we can customize because basically we've actually achieved our feature that is the main functionality but let me just show you the three different options so we have auto focus equals to 2 so by default the focus is there if i see mum you can see there is some focus already on this so if i say auto focus equals to false and now if i type in any w nothing is in focus right so when i say true and now when i type in new the first one will always be in focus okay so this is that auto focus parameter then we have delay so the delay is after typing in how much time should it take for the suggestions to come up so if i say 500 so this is in milliseconds so when i type in any w it will take 500 milliseconds you can see there was a little bit of delay so if i add a little bit more delay let's see let's say 2000 which means 2 seconds so when i type in any w you can see it is taking 2 seconds right you had to wait for some time and only then the suggestions came in so usually this is not used and the delay is always usually kept at 0 so we'll keep it at 0 now this is pretty much used a lot minimum length which means that after typing two letters only then the suggestions will come up so if i keep it at 3 and if i say n e you can see we are not getting any suggestions because the minimum length is 3 so i need to type in three letters for the suggestions to come up so if i say w now you can see immediately i'm getting the suggestions so this is the minimum length and it is typically kept at 2 at least we don't want the auto complete to pop up if we have a lot of suggestions or if we have a lot of data set over here and if we just type in one word the entire auto complete will be populated with a lot of names right so you want a pattern over here so that's why sometimes the minimum length is greater than 1 at times it is 2 or 3 so yeah this was a very basic auto complete feature and you can dynamically load these values also obviously this is something that we are doing in the front end right but this can be some json array which you are fetching in from some other api or pulling in some data from some other location and then you are populating it so that can also be done you can directly cut this and put it over here also just comment this out so instead of creating a array variable you can do it over here also okay i forgot to add a semicolon i suppose over here let me just change the minimum length to 1 and let's see if this works i'm going to say n so you can see there you go the suggestions are still working so you can directly add the source over here and as i mentioned this source can be coming in from any other api some from json feed or some dynamic feature behind the scenes if you are using some server side scripting also so yeah this was the auto complete feature using single line of code that is the auto complete method in jquery ui and this is a very important feature and functionality which you can add in your projects so yeah that's it for this video guys this was the auto complete widget in jquery ui if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next video peace